Hello everyone, today we will focus on an application of massive concrete structure, bridge pier, and we are group 9. Have you ever heard of mass concrete structure, which commonly used in building pier or dam? Mass concrete is any volume of concrete with dimensions large enough to require that measures being taken to cope with the generation of heat from hydration of cement and attendance volume change to minimize cracking. Mass concrete is commonly used in huge buildings like dams, bridges, piers, and even nuclear plants. And in this project, we will focus on massive concrete structure of bridge pier. Bridge pier is used to support bridge superstructure and transfer the loads to the foundation. It extends to the ground below or into the water. It is able to withstand vertical and horizontal loads. With regards to the function of bridge pier, mass concrete is used because of its high compressive strength. Concrete consists of many aggregates, materials, and cements. The cements give concrete the quality of adhesiveness and a strong adhesive force leading to the high compressive strength. Additionally, bridge pier is very massive, so the tendency of movement of it is very low. Another benefit for using mass concrete is that it would not be rust. Since the bridge pier would submerge in water, iron or other commonly used metals would face the problem of rusting and oxidation. And these are the formwork of bridge pier. As fresh concrete adds like fluid, it possesses specific weight, viscosity, therefore hydrostatic forces are applied to the walls of the formwork. Thus, the formwork is designed as the right diagram so that it can be prevented from collapse. However, there is a problem during mass concreting which is thermal cracking. As mentioned, heat is generated by hydration of cement. The heat generation is very large, especially for mass concrete. Therefore, the interior part is hotter than the exterior part and thus the interior part expands at a higher rate. This develops a thermal stress. When the thermal stress is larger than the maximum tensile stress of concrete, thermal cracking occurs. How to solve? Insulation or accelerators are needed. There are several precautions regarding thermal cracking. Firstly, the surface of concrete can be insulated by polyethylene sheet and thermal coat sheet. This can reduce the rate of heat loss, and thus, the temperature difference between the inner part and the outer part can be decreased. On the other hand, accelerators can be used as a mixture for increasing strength of concrete at early ages, so the maximum tensile stress of concrete increases. Therefore, the thermal stress requires to crack the concrete is larger. Here are the reference. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.